the chief executive officer of Air Canada is out and a new man is at the helm. He's a familiar face to most employees and the move means changes are in the wind as Air Canada faces mounting losses and will be trying to avoid bankruptcy. CTV's national affairs correspondent Lisa Laflamme has the latest. Turbulence in the airline industry is an understatement, but Air Canada may have more baggage than most. It's uh, nothing new for me as I have been through this. This time, problems may run deeper. Air Canada lost a billion dollars last year and owes over three billion to its pension plan. Blaming volatile fuel prices and a fluctuating Canadian dollar, it's the global recession that further clipped its wings and cost the CEO his job. In a sudden move, Monty Brewer is out. Kalen Revenescu is in, back in. My interpretation is he's been put in there to make some pretty draconian cuts to ensure the survival of Air Canada. Revenescu stick-handled job cuts and restructuring the last time Air Canada faced bankruptcy protection six years ago. Employees remember all too well. The restructuring of uh, Air Canada as conducted by AIDS was uh, a disaster for Air Canada. It left them very vulnerable to a business downturn, and uh, the consequences are showing themselves now. It could be much worse depending on the summer travel season. Uh, indications so far are that it will be a very weak season, and if that's indeed the case, then they may not have a choice but to apply for bankruptcy protection. Please do not leave your luggage The number of business class passengers where the real money's made is down dramatically trading in the luxury for economy. If they can't go business class, then they might as well go WestJet or Porter. And today, WestJet became the first airline in North America to offer a lowest price guarantee and an even bigger edge over the competition, where every route and every employee is under the microscope. I'm not losing sleep over it. You know, you just go with the flow and kiss it out, sit out. What will be, however, is this up in the air as the industry itself. While the new CEO may have a good track record for restructuring, he is seriously disliked by the union. With labor negotiations set to begin in June, that could spell serious strikes, disruptions, and definitely frustrations for passengers. Lloyd.